This is CCTA case number 38. This is a 61 year old man with chest pain and shortness of breath. He has known coronary disease and he's status post coronary artery bypass graft times three. That is, he's had three separate coronary conduits placed in the past. We have been asked to evaluate whether or not these bypass grafts are patent and or whether or not there is some focal disease. Let's start here with the three-dimensional images as are appropriate, especially for looking at bypass grafts. The sternum is quite intact. I'm going to uh, rotate over to a right lateral view. I can get a very nice view of the intact right internal mammary artery. I can see the posterior of the sternum and I can see that there has been a left internal mammary bypass graft performed. So one of the easiest ways to figure out where you are is to do some sculpting of the region. I do generally a couple sculpts. I'm going to first of all remove uh, basically the top half of uh, the thoracic outlet here and I'm going to apply that and then take another view by rotating around and putting uh, the view uh, as if I'm looking from the head and I'm going to now include a region, do positive region, and I'm going, I'm going to uh, positive this region by rotating around here and trying to remove areas of uh, the cardiac surfaces that are not of major interest. I'm going to apply this now and take a little better look at what I've got left here. I can see that there are three bypass grafts. There is a internal mammary artery bypass graft coming to the region of the left anterior descending. There is a saphenous vein bypass graft that appears to be going to the region of the obtuse marginal. And there is another bypass graft from going to the right, uh, passing down into the distal right coronary feeding portions of the posterior descending coronary artery. Let's now switch to the uh, two-dimensional images to get a little better idea of what's going on here. I'm going to bring over and put this in a foot view. Let's start by looking at the internal mammary graft. This is approximately at this region. I'm going to rotate it down since I know that it goes anteriorly. I can follow the graft all the way down as it feeds into the LAD and focus around this area and then follow that graph all the way down. So this is a widely patent internal mammary graph with uh, excellent distal flow. Let's take a look now at uh, the southwest vein graph to the obtuse marginal. This appears to be a very good looking graph as we proceed down Distally, however, we notice that there is a possible area of narrowing. Look at this a little bit better. You can see that there is, so we rotate about here, there's an area of non-calcified plaque, possibly thrombus, that appears to be distinctly and focally narrowing this bypass graph. I can switch to an MPR view to try to get a little better view. Very very small vessel at that point, back to a five millimeter MIP. If we look at the remainder of the graph, though, we can follow that graph down. And it uh, otherwise is widely patent going over to an obtuse marginal region uh, and having good distal flow. Finally, let's uh, take a look at the right bypass graph. Go back up to uh, the region of the right coronary takeoff can see the bypass graph coming off right here. We can follow this around. Very normal looking graph. You can follow it distribution everywhere. Very normal all the way down to uh, the foot view here where we can see that it feeds directly into the posterior descending. There probably is some possibly retrograde flow from the PDA actually back into uh, the region of the distal right coronary and also down into uh, the small but, uh, but adequate flow into the posterior lateral branch. If we want to look at the native 
vessels. Let's go back up and take a quick look at them. They're sometimes, of course, quite a challenge uh, because they're usually quite severely diseased in these patients. You can see there is some non-calcified plaque in the region of the left main LAD. Uh, there is some rather complex looking disease uh, in uh, the left anterior descending and unclear exactly whether or not there's any clear focal disease that I can identify today, but the bypass graft to that area is uh, quite widely patent. If we look at the region of the left circumflex and obtuse marginal, we can see that there is some disease involving uh, the OM, uh, and then there's the bypass graft coming in right down here that appears to be normal. And then finally, the right coronary artery. The right coronary artery in this patient is occluded you can see this is occluded proximally, so we only have flow through the bypass graft. So we've got a patient with uh, some chest pain. He has three bypass grafts. One of them uh, going to the obtuse marginal appears to have uh, eccentric, non-calcified, but obstructive plaque in its mid-portion. And a uh, patient should be referred directly for angiography, and this should be relatively straightforward in a fashion to have uh, uh, angioplasty done and probably stent placement without any other uh, complications.